On this emotional scale, which indicates your degree of resistance or allowing, there is despair all the way at the most resistant end fear and despair and regret and blame and hatred and revenge and anger and all of those things and at the other end there's love and appreciation and ecstasy and that feeling of passion but in the center of the scale is contentment or satisfaction so where that creative control is where that energetic vibrational control is it's right there satisfied or not satisfied or not and that's where most of your life is being lived in the realm of that where you could choose that except you have these hot buttons which take you immediately over there and so if you are asking for something and you ask and then you say well, I'm going to surrender well surrendering means stop thought which means if you're gonna really surrender then get into a meditative state but we don't want you to be in a meditative state more than about 20 minutes a day we want you to be in a wake state in control of your vibration which means look for satisfying things of which there are so many and the more time you spend looking for a reason to be satisfied then the more law of attraction brings you more rivers and streams of things that are satisfying so that you dwell mostly in that satisfaction and better feeling emotion well that's not surrendering but it's not resistance either so when you're dwelling mostly in this I'm satisfied about life I love that I'm so satisfied Esther spent an afternoon one day for a couple of hours making lists of things that she has identified because she wanted to isolate the feeling within herself that were really satisfying in nature and she talked about that feeling of getting out onto the open road and that first feeling of moving out on the highway for a day's drive and the anticipation of what that day was going to bring now that feeling of utter satisfaction of supreme satisfaction did not last all day long but she remembers feeling that nearly every time that she pulled out onto the roadway in the monster bus with the tow car in tow that feeling of excellence of the vehicle and adventure of her life and happiness of her life she isolated she focuses on slipping into a lovely seat in a lovely restaurant with lovely people and identifying the beauty of the place and the niceness of the people who are working there and the fragrance of the food in the air and how a little bit of focus there and she will say well I'll tell you right now I'm going to be very happy here I'm so satisfied or slipping into an airline seat and putting her pillow behind her neck and getting really comfortable and acknowledging how satisfied she is you have to identify and isolate that feeling and once you do that and get good at that then what happens is not only do you have more and more of those kinds of moments in time but you establish a point of attraction that makes that mostly what flows through that path of least resistance to you so it just gets easier and easier and easier well of course things are going to happen somebody is going to bump your car or 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 your flight might be canceled or 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 life comes at you the question is how stable are you standing as they come and how deep is your basis of satisfaction how quickly are you able to put things into perspective you have an earth that spins in its orbit every single day in perfect proximity to other planets in ways that we can't even begin to describe and for reasons that you couldn't understand if we did describe it that would need to be the only thing that you focus on that would give you reason substantial validated reason to feel satisfaction and yet it's not something that comes up in your mind very often somebody bumped my car well the earth is still spinning in its orbit that's usually not where you go but you could you could you could look at the overview of your life experience and you could acknowledge the well-being that is dominant no matter what's going on well-being is dominant <laughs>